The Schoolyard Habitat Program helps teachers and students create wildlife habitat at their own schools. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service works with schools to create wetlands, meadows, woodlands, and other habitats that serve as local wildlife habitat and also as outdoor classrooms for students. Schoolyard Habitat Projects provide habitat for local and migratory wildlife, including songbirds, shorebirds, small mammals, reptiles, amphibians, insects, and more. In many cases, these habitats also provide a vegetative buffer to nearby streams, helping to reduce pollution reaching these waterways. Schoolyard Habitat Projects offer many teaching and learning opportunities across multiple subject areas. The process of planning, creating, and using a schoolyard habitat exposes children to unique, hands-on experiences. Creating a school landscape provides the opportunity to engage students in scientific inquiry in a meaningful context. Schoolyard habitats are as unique and diverse as there are schools. Here's how the Concord Montessori School in Michigan got started with their schoolyard habitat. Well, one of the things that I think the outdoor education uh, part of the curriculum that, that is brought here is something that the kids have always complained about or always wanted, and that's something hands-on. They get sometimes bored or tired of just sitting in the classroom and studying things out of a textbook, or even uh, nowadays with computers being able to stream a lot of stuff. That's a huge connector. But they're always talking about, well, can we get outside? Can we do something hands-on? And so whether it be identifying tracks, identifying rocks, plants, trees, getting to know what the natural, what nature was around them. And instead of it, it becoming something where they just zoom by in a car and it's there, they actually see it and understand what it is. Why the trees and the birds and the, every, all the different plants have the connections. We could, we were gonna put pythons out and then put peanut butter on them and have like birdhouses to attract different species of birds and stuff and then we could study them. It's just hard out there sometimes because of all this traffic's going by and oh, yeah. you know, the traffic. But if there was somewhere like, you know, that was just set up yeah. for a class, all right, hey, yeah. here's, you know, 25 seats and kind of like an, a stage area or yeah. an area where the, the instructor or the reader or whomever could present yeah. the stuff with, with sound yeah. uh, taken into account. Like if we had, um, if we had oak trees out here, then uh -huh. we could sit underneath the oak tree or in front of the oak tree and we could be able to draw the oak tree. Do you guys like animals? Yes, I love animals. animals. What kind of animals would you like to see outside? Like Deers. 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 What else? It's a jug for butterflies. A biggest jug. Wow, that would be cool. And we can pick it up and catch butterflies in it. And we shut it, one of the butterflies in it. We saw a rainbow before out of the city. I think it would be cool to watch all the animals and everything. I guess. I was going to um, say we um, really like to have a wind turbine. Here's how the Concord Montessori School in Michigan designed their schoolyard habitat. Research has shown that during the formative years of life, students develop perceptions and values about their environment. If designed and managed well, schoolyards can provide students with meaningful opportunities to connect with the outdoors. Experts have demonstrated that young children are driven to explore, discover, and play while refining motor skills. A schoolyard that includes a diversity of natural areas allows students to exercise these needs while nurturing the development of a land ethic that values natural spaces.